Welcome to the shortwave radio channel, and um, if you are into radio, one of the things that is really cool is to have a map, a map of the world, and uh, even better, if you have a computer, uh, or maybe you have um, you know, an unused PC lying around, and an extra monitor, why not turn that into a um, world map that is animated and has all sorts of features, which is kind of cool. Uh, when you think about it. So, uh, yep, Simon's World Map is something that I've looked in the past. I think I did a video at some point talking about it, but this is what it looks like. It's definitely nice. There's a lot of options to it. It is really uh, made to go towards the amateur radio slash shortwave radio listener. So you can customize everything, a lot of things, actually, you even have the ability to uh, check um, radio satellites, uh, position, and so on, or auroras, if you want. In this case, my setup is the basic setup. You've got the solar activity on the left. You've got the UTC clock in the middle with date. And on the right side, there's a sunrise and sunset times for the uh, location where I am here in Montreal. So this is a really cool map to get and to download and install. It uh, I'll give the link to where it is uh, downloadable. And uh, I'm just going to press the escape key so that we remove ourselves from the map, full screen map. So um, the website you downloaded is here, Simon's World Map. If you don't see it exactly like this, you can click World Map in Introduction. You'll see the clock it's been updated uh, to the latest version 1.3.4 November 19th and um, you will have all the information that you need gray line uh, even um, you know check DX stations and so on there's a lot of stuff in there there's a really uh, complete set of menus uh, in there to check it out and uh, basically if you want to have you have the downloads you just click the little disk download icon here and uh, it will, of course, install on your PC. Really nice to have such a tool in general. So the link to this uh, page is in the description below. And, uh, well, you'll be able to enjoy a, a cool world map um, once you uh, actually activate it. Uh, lots of activity and lots of stuff to do. As you see at the top, complete layouts, the layout changes. You've got, you can check for, you know, get the auroras, show auroras uh, in real time, the size that they could be in general. Uh, and you can customize everything, the clock, uh, gray circle, the gray line, the maiden head. Uh, you can show the maiden head if you want on the screen map. You can show the prefixes on the screen map if you want. This is kind of cool if you're into ham radio operating. Uh, and even if you're just a general listener, uh, having the prefixes could be kind of cool because it'll be easy to identify uh, where a station could be from quickly, although there's a lot of prefixes, so sometimes finding one could be a tough one. Uh, you can, of course, change the colors, change the brightness, uh, change the way the map looks, and make sure that you could, uh, um, you know, just enjoy having a cool map. So you have, of course, the rotator. If you have a uh, ham radio and you want to control, for example, the rotation of the antennas, stuff like that. You have the uh, satellites that you can actually look at the view and see if satellites are passing overhead and so on. Space weather information. Uh, stations that you can actually add on the map. Of course, sunrise uh, and moon uh, settings. And, of course, uh, a host of tools to... Uh, completely and make sure that everything is all right and TP clock and everything to make sure that everything is synced and correct uh, to the uh, the viewer and the shortwave and the radio listener. And I got to say on this, uh, I'm watching it here on a 55-inch uh, screen. It really, really makes a beautiful map when you uh, actually activate it like that. So check it out um, and customize it the way you like. Uh, lots of cool stuff in here. It's really, really oriented for the uh, amateur radio slash radio listener. So I think you'll enjoy that, and it's fun to have a beautiful map like this uh, on a computer screen. 
Um, why not, you know, maybe use an old PC that has uh, just enough power to uh, run it and uh, on an old TV monitor or whatever. Um, it makes a great, great map uh, on your display. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching my videos.